Iron Jawed Angels is a movie about the fight and women's suffrage. It follows Alice Paul and Lucy Burns and other suffragettes through the process. Alice and Lucy come from England to spread their ideas with suffragettes in America. They meet with the National American Women's Suffrage Association, who has a different opinion on the route to end women's suffrage. Throughout the movie, you can see the women fight against President Wilson, leading to the start of their protests in front of the White House. At the time, the U.S. declares war and many people are unhappy with the protests. This leads to the arrest of several suffragettes. During their time in jail, many women were treated very poorly, some even force-fed. The word got out of, about their poor treatment to the public and this helps the women be released and causes some good press. Eventually, in 1920, the 19th Amendment was passed, ending women's suffrage with the help of all the suffragettes. All of us think very highly of this movie. It was a very empowering, strong movie that we recommend to everyone. Our favorite scenes were when they were standing outside of the White House in the parade. It really showed the struggle and put into perspective on how hard these women persevered. Our favorite character is Alice Paul because she really embodied the cause and is a true inspiration. Our second favorite character is Emily Layton. Although she's not a historical accurate character, she did represent historically accurate people and their struggle to fight for this cause. The historical aspects of this movie were pretty spot on. The members of NASA believe that Alice Paul and Lucy Burns were getting ahead of themselves and they're trying to make something impossible happen. They believed that they should take a slower approach. The women of the NWP actually did stand right outside of the White House gates with banners of President Wilson quotes, the same exact quotes used in the past. As for the hunger strike, six out of 16 women on it were force-fed, including Alice Paul being the first. Dr. Williams White also was a true event, and he did ask Paul a series of questions and report back to Wilson's administration. <laughs> this adds to the movie going experience because we know more than we came in with and it makes it even more powerful seeing them go through this. Adding Ben to the film can confuse viewers. Alice never married or had a serious relationship. This was probably added for more detail and to make a romance, which would definitely attract more viewers. This can confuse viewers as to what really happened and distract from Alice's dedication to what she was doing. Emily and Thomas were probably added to show how supporters of the women were treated at the time, even by their husbands. This added to the understanding that viewers had of the film and how discriminated these women were. And wait. Emily? Emily? The modern day music that was added provides an inaccurate feel and can take away from the time period. This was probably added to connect problems women had then to struggles that women face now and connect it to today, but not in a direct way. This was frustrating to some viewers, but ultimately did not distract from the point of the film. Senator Myers drafted a bill with outlaw treasonous banners. Those banners quote the president. We give this movie four out of five angel emojis. You are brave girls. I would recommend this film to audiences above 13 years of age and men and women because women it's very empowering to women and it's a very good movie to watch it's very powerful and i think that men need to see the other side of the story and see what women fought for during that time so i think it's important for both genders and anyone above 13 